Hey guys, it's Jane Kassan, first name Jane, my name is Kassan, and welcome back or to if you are new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to the JC crew, and today, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be putting you guys on to some underrated Netflix shows or t Netflix shows that don't, that's not really out in the public like that, like a lot of people don't talk about. So yeah, and also movies too, okay, because we're in quarantine. And if you need something to watch, baby, I got you, okay? I got you. My list is not disappointing at all. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen or in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. Okay, so I have my phones, I mean my phone. I have my list saved inside of my notes. And uh, when I talk about the show, I'm gonna try to insert a clip of like the trailer or whatnot, or like what it looks like if but i'm not sure if i can do that like i, I don't want to get copyright or anything okay, so the very first show is she's gotta have it that show is so freaking good like y'all gotta watch it to understand okay so it's about this black girl she's an artist she like paints and draws and stuff like that and um she lives in fort green brooklyn which is um an area that i think is gentr gentrificated if i'm saying that right and she has three sex buddies and they don't know that she's like other guys she struggles in a way to like pay her rent and stuff but also on the show they talk about controversial topics like gentrification how women are sometimes portrayed as objects but yeah it's a really good show it's by spike lee and it's two seasons like i highly recommend it 10 out of 10 it's amazing the next show is dear white people so i said i watched that show like two years back um it's a really good show as you can see by the title it's about um damn it what is it about i forgot the show is cast in a predominantly white college but it's black kids there as well though and it's like a group and the focus is mainly on the black kids and the main character, she likes tries to target um, social issues that occur on the campus, like racial problems. The title literally kind of gives you an idea what the show is kind of about, like Dear White People. She addresses like certain things that happens in like society with the black culture and the white culture. That's not the main focus of the show, but it's also about like, you know, college life. I also forgot to say that um, in some episodes, the main characters like it's gonna be in their point of view like it's different characters but different point of views of how like their life is on campus if that makes sense i'm gonna read the description a group of students of color at winchester university a predominantly white ivy league college are faced with a landscape of cultural bias social injustice misguided active activist misguided activism and the slippery policies through an abundance lens the series uses irony self-deprecation brutal honesty and humor to highlight issues that still plague today's post today's post-racial society oh yeah i was pretty spot on when i did the description of it so yeah it's a really good show i definitely suggest it um next show is end of the world that show is good it's good trust me it's good so it's about this boy ever since he was younger he had like this fetish or like he just liked killing stuff like he liked killing animals like like rabbits and shit like that it, it shows in the beginning of the show like when he was younger what he used to do and when he was younger he put his hand in a freaking fryer and he his hand is like all fried up well, it looks like wrinkly and stuff because he put his hand in the fryer. So I just like, I think like he just, he loved the idea of like hurting things in people. I don't know. And being of the show, he wanted to kill something bigger because he used to kill like animals and shit, but he wanted to kill something big. I'm talking, he wanted to kill a human. Okay. So he um sees this new girl. His first intention was to um try to kill her so he was like studying her and whatnot but things got switched around they started dating and the show basically takes off from there like the plot goes on i'm not gonna go into that because if i do then the show's gonna be ruined 
I highly recommend it. It will have you on the edge of your seat. And I mean that shit. Okay, so the next show it that's not even a show. It's, it's a movie actually. Um the next movie is Dare All the Boys I Loved. I think that's the name of it. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Oh no, I was actually saying it wrong. It's To All the Boys I've Loved. It's a film. Um, it's two parts to it. It's part one and part two. But it's so cute. Like, I said, I watched part one. I mean, part two before I watched part one. But it's about this girl. And, um, she wrote, like, letters to, like, all her crushes from the past. And she just stored them in, in her closet. And someone, I'm not gonna say to someone because that's ruining the plot. Someone distributed out the letters to the boys that, um, she had a crush. But she wrote those letters, like, years back. But when her crushes got the letters... Like, apparently, they all reached out back out to her. One of the boys that the letter went to, um, he was dating this girl, but they broke up. And in order for him to make the girl jealous, um, uh, he, like, made the, the main character, like, his fake girlfriend and whatnot. As the movie went along, like, they actually, like, had feelings for each other, yada, yada, yada. If you watch it, it's really cute. I, I highly suggest it. 10 out of 10. Um, the next show is a raisin dion that that show is good oh my god it's so good it's about this little boy and uh, he has powers like he can move shit with his mind so let me give you the backstory his mom and his dad got married but oh my god yo it's so freaking good his mom and his dad were married and they had him and the dad went the dad is like a, a scientist and he went to ireland he went to some place i think he went to ireland anyways the dad went to some country to do some research to see like some shit in the sky and when he got there some shit was just like shooting up from the sky or whatnot it was like a meteoroid something like that the meteoroid i'm gonna i'm, I'm not sure if it's a meteoroid but the meteoroid was shooting from the sky everyone that was there they got affected with it like, they all got special powers so the dad he went to the country before he even had the kid and when they had the kid basically the powers from the dad got transferred to the kid well not transferred but the kid got the powers as well and he could move shit with his mind and whatnot and it was this like storm that was coming after everyone that was in the other country when the meteoroids striked earth and from there that's when the show the plot takes off okay so the next show is the office but it's a very old show an office literally and the boss the boss is the main character the boss is unethical meaning like he has no care he's the, like the total opposite of what an actual boss like is supposed to like the characteristics a boss supposed to have so he's very obnoxious he say inappropriate stuff in the office and whatnot and basically it centers off from him but everyone in the office like is also the main cast if you know what i mean i mean yeah they are the main cast you have to watch it. it's such a funny show but like it's not like basic jokes like oh my god look like his pants fell like or like oh my god look she has no eyebrows it's not that type of funny it's like intellectual funny but not really if you know what i mean but you actually have to pay attention to get the jokes that are in the show like every worker in the office they all have like different personalities and they just all like like, their personalities all come together and make the show, like, so good. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. I'm not even... I'm not done with it yet, but I'm currently on season seven. So, you know the show the show is good if I'm not done with it. And I'm saying it's a really good show. So, y'all better go watch that. It's, it has nine seasons. And the last show is Sex Education. A lot of people don't really talk about it, but I know people that actually watch it. But it's about this kid. His mom is um a sex therapist um he's like really weird like he's like awkward he meets this girl named Maeve she's like the popular girl but she don't really have friends like that so they become friends I don't know how it started but I can't remember how it started but basically since Otis's mom is um a sex therapist he knows a lot about sex so him and Maeve they like came together and they had like the sex clinic or whatever like Otis would give advice to like teenagers around the campus i mean around the high school and they would get paid for it like Maeve was his assistant but yeah that's what the show is about it's good like i would give like a calm eight out of ten it's a good show so that's watch, all though. the shows that i have for you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs 
up and if i put you on to some new shows also give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye